In this episode of Mezcal Monday, we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting review of La Luna Mezcal's 100% Agave Tequilana Mezcal. Right here on the Tequila Hombre, coming up next. Welcome to this Mezcal Mondays edition from the Tequila Hombre, where today we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting interview of La Luna Mezcal's 100% Agave Tequilana Expression. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Tequilana, that sounds familiar. Yes, it is Weber Blue Agave. So this is going to be an example, at least they were looking to make this an example, for people to be able to taste what ancestral tequila tastes like before it got big, before they started using um, steam powered ovens and autoclaves. Um, this is what it used to taste like. So I'm interested to uh, tell you guys about it and to get into the tasting. So let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about how this mezcal was made. All right, La Luna Mezcal Tequilana is made in Ex Hacienda Zacapendo. It is located in the state of Michoacan, the Ocampo. The master distillers on it, Mezcaleros, are Edgar Jiggy Perez and Sergio Cruz. The agave used a Weber Blue agave with 50% of the batch being Criollo. Now, if you haven't seen my review on the Calle 23 Criollo um, Blanco, I'll put a link to it at the top of the screen here so you can check that out. Criollo is a different type of uh, Weber Blue Agave in that it's smaller, it's uh, got a lot more sugar content to it, and a lot more complex flavor profile. So this is going to be an interesting um, flavor profile on this, and I'm looking forward to tasting it. Uh, after the agave are processed properly, they're then cooked in earthen pits using Encino wood for 168 hours. After cooking is complete, they're then rested for 144 hours. Uh, before the sugar is extracted. They use the uh, extraction method. They do it by hand. And then after they're done extracting the sugars, it is then fermented in wooden vats for 288 hours. After they're done fermenta fermenta with fermentation, it is then distilled twice using Filipino pine wood stills, which is kind of an interesting setup uh, if you see pictures of how they actually do it using wooden stills. It's it's very interesting. The lowest price I've been able to find this for online is $84.99 and it is bottled at 100.6 proof. So this should be a very interesting high proof mezcal which uh, let's not waste any more time and let's get into the tasting portion and see what this mezcal is all about. All right showing you guys the pour of this uh, as usual I'm using my high proof uh, Stazel Jarrito nosing glass from Chisholm Trails, which I think is the best glass for sampling mezcals and tequilas, especially the high proof ones. So we'll go ahead and pour a little bit into the glass here, and then we'll come back up and take a look at what it looks like in the glass. All right, looking at what this looks like in the glass, you can see it's got a nice viscosity to it. You can see the the legs and the tears coming down the glass. So it should have a nice mouthfeel to it. Looking at the Mezcal, it is crystal clear. Looks great. All right, so let's see what we get on the nose and the taste. All right, let's see what we get on the nose on this. Mmm. You know what it smells like? You know when you buy a new car and you have a leather interior and you open the door <laughs> And uh, you get that nice new leather smell, uh, like from your car interior. That is exactly what it smells like. It has this new car interior kind of smell that is really interesting. There's also a little fruitiness mixed in there. Mm, picking up like citrus notes. I'm picking up... Um, Definitely a floralness to it. 
Mm, it smells really good. All right, so let's see if that carries through on the flavors. Mm. Coats the mouth very nicely. Definitely picking up the cooked agave coming through, the cooked agave sweetness in the beginning. Really nice. Followed by some sweet, some um, fruity sweetness. So it's, I'm picking up like citrus from it, like a hint of lemon in there. I'm picking up a little bit of earthiness to it. And then when it finishes, it finishes with a nice uh, fruitiness as well, like um, light fruitiness, like pear that comes through on it. Wow, this is really nice. <clears throat> this is a really good, really good mezcal, um, especially if you haven't like dove into the mezcal category yet and you're a tequila drinker. Um, this might be a really good beginner uh, mezcal for you to get into. It is a little high on the proof, so you have to be really careful when you take your first sip to make sure that you understand that the burn you're going to get is going to be uh, acclimating your your mouth and gums to uh, 100.6 proof alcohol. Uh, after that, though, uh, the flavors really pop and come through on it, and it's really easy sipping. Uh, very little smoke, so if you're worried about smokiness, I'm not picking up a whole lot in there at all. Just a little bit. So I think this would be good if you want to try what a tequila tastes like before I got big and they, before they started using steam-powered ovens and autoclaves and, God forbid, diffusers and stuff. This is a good uh, example of what that would taste like. And I recommend you try this and uh, experience it yourself. All right. Have you tried La Luna's Tequilana? Um, mezcal before if so how did i do on the uh on the the nose and the and the flavor did you detect the same type of things comment below let me know um comment below let me know if there's a mezcal out there that you've seen that you'd like for me to do a review on on a mezcal monday just make sure you comment make sure you like for this information i provided you in the video and make sure you're subscribed because if you're subscribed and you the more you like the more you comment on the videos, the better your chances of winning one of the prizes we're giving away. We're really close to giving away our second prize uh, once we hit 1,200 uh, subscribers. So if you need to share with your friends, get them on the channel subscribed. Do what we need to do. We need to get to that 1,200 level. I'll give away the next prize, and I want you to win it. So subscribe. Click the subscribe button right here. Comment on the video. Like the video, and you'll be all set. All right. And until next time. Like I always say, except with a little twist, life is too short to drink bad mezcal. Salute.